What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to clean up the WordPress media library and save host disk space and backup space and of course keep the media library cleaner is it makes easier to organize the website itself we're gonna be using the media cleaner a free to use tool that is pretty much effective and easy to use First of all, we're gonna download this plugin or install directly on WordPress dashboard. For it, we you can click on the button download to get the zip files or go directly on WordPress dashboard plugins add new. In the search field, we're gonna type media cleaner. We're gonna be installing the first one by Jordi. While we install the plugin, let me show you some extra information about the plugin. This is the most critical one. Be careful. Better to be safe than sorry. So make sure that you have a site backup before clean up your media files because we never know in how many pages or posts we did use a file. And sometimes we can upload the file twice, but you need to see what you do with your site. Now the second point, it's activate the plugin. As soon as we do that, you're gonna find a new tab inside media, call it, call it cleaner. And of course, here's our media library. And as you can see, we have some repeated images and we have a lot of files so it's a bit hard to always keep control and this is why this plugin is so important we're gonna click on cleaner and the very first option it's click on reset in the right side of our screen the reset is a blue button because we need to create a new database table for this plugin to work just click on reset Continue and the plugin gonna start to work. Click on start scan and it's gonna be starting. The process may take a little while and either, uh, even after the process seems to be concluded, the plugin may take some time to generate the table. This is according to the host speed, the size of the site, the size of the media library, but just click on refresh or wait some moments and refresh the page. In my case, the plugin did find 228 issues in our media. You can search for it in the case that you are suspecting for some name or just refresh the page so we can see the table made. Now this is all the images that the plugin find that is probably without use, without embedment without be present in any kind of post or are repeated and you can delete it directly in the plugin however if you delete on the plugin remember to refresh the page so you can see the final version of the page and it is you can get the media name go to media library and try to understand if you use the image or not and delete one by one or click on the red button to delete all. This is up to you. Whoever pay an extra attention about what you are doing. Another nice part of the plugin is that it shows the size of the medias, the size they are, they are occupying in the disk. It shows a little thumbnail 
for the media as well. Of course, you can delete all if you want, however, this is not recommended, just in the case that you have really no time. If you have finished the media organization and cleaning, I do recommend that you deactivate, that you disable the plugin, because every single plugin that you have on your site gets some space and make the site a little slower. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later guys, all the best!